So what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the Jeff Man 316 Pop Culture Reporter Channel. I'm your host as always, Jeff Man 316. I feel like I haven't done this before. I feel like it's brand new. I haven't recorded anything all week. I'm still a little bit stopped up, but man, I had a terrible sinus infection and I couldn't even, I could barely even work, much less record any videos, but I'm back. And we're, we're gonna go ahead and go on a weekly movie hunt. So uh, let's go to some stores. I don't think I'm really gonna find anything this week. There's nothing really cool out there. But uh, hey, we're gonna look anyway and then come back here and I'll show you what we found. What are we waiting for? Let's go. Well, we're finally back at it. I'm out. Been sick all week. Finally out on the hunt. We're going to go into Walmart first, I think. So, uh, I don't even know what else is out this week. I don't think there's many new releases, but we'll find something. So, on the main shelf over here, looks like they just got the stuff from last week. Nope. And Top Gun. And we've got a few things here. What is this? Most Dangerous Game. And it's got a bonus Walmart. A movie in there. I don't know anything about that. It's a Mill Creek release, so I wonder if that's on Blu-ray as well. The Enforcer. Antonio Banderas. Is he gonna be the new Nicholas Cage? What is this? I love my dad. That's a weird case there. It's in an orange case. I mean a yellow, sorry. The side rack. Don't see anything there really. Look how small it is. They didn't put this little Netflix shop here beside it. It's got puzzles and gift cards. Like, we need a Netflix shop. So, always finding ways to reduce the physical media. So, the stagecoach, is that new? I don't remember. I might have been from last week, but they just didn't have it in this store. And I think I remember seeing this um, that came out last week. I just didn't see it in one of my stores, but... I don't really see nothing else right here. Anything over here? I think this is all old stuff. What about up here? Not really anything new. Wow. Empty shells. This Walmart's a bust. Just so you know, this is in a second Walmart. Um, they got the shutter release of She Will. I think that's a shutter release. Yeah, I spliced this in because other Walmart didn't have anything. They actually got a few movies here. Devil's Workshop. The Witch 2. I think it had a Blu-ray release. They don't have it in here. It's $12.96. Dig. That's new. So yeah, they got quite a few new titles in here. This is at uh, Aqua Teen Hunger Force Plantasm. Uh, they just got the Blu-ray. They got a bunch of Christmas titles in here. If you hear me sniff in the background, I apologize. Hey, wait a minute. Look at there. There's Trish Stratus. I think she, I remember her touting that movie on, the, on her uh, social media. Oh, they got a bunch of little... Cheesy horror movies here. Snow Monster versus... Was that Ice Shark? I bet that's a damn classic and a half right there. Jack Frost. Jack Frost. Look at that cover. It's kind of cool. What is that? Creature of the Sea Mist. I think this is new. After Ever Happy. And Earth Girls are Easy. That's one of those Vestron releases, so... I think that's new. So this Walmart had a few extra little things that the other one didn't. Cobra Kai. Hmm. So that's cool. And there was this end cap here that's got Christmas stuff on it. Look, a 12 movie set. I think I'd give you guys a little preview of Christmas movies. Christmas before Thanksgiving. I, think I like some of these little slip covers. I think I remember seeing these last year though. So they got all the little classics, the Peanuts, Grinch, 
Polar Express, Christmas Vacation, Elf, Christmas Story. They milk those movies to death, don't they? Keep releasing them in different... They, I just bought the 4Ks of most of those last week. Look, you got the vacation set there. And look over here on this other end cap. I'd rather have this one. It looks cooler. And I think it, they got even more Christmas stuff over here that we saw last week. So I'll give you a quick glance at that just in case. Pause it if you want to see anything. But yeah, I think I'm going to get on up out of here. We're going to hit in Target. Let's go. They ne even I don't know why we're going. <laughs> they never have anything. But oh well. So on their main rack here. Still got Top Gun from last week. Nope. That Euphoria. I saw somebody saying that was a good show. I don't think I've watched that myself. Is that on HBO? Hey, they got Adam's Family 2 for sale. Six bucks. That's a good deal for Blu-ray and DVD. Got some anime stuff on sale. Space Jam cheap. Nobody wants that anyway. I'll give it a quick glance because it looks like they got a couple things on sale. Batman. Look at that. Downton Abbey. Memory. So, hey, I always bust on Target. At least they got a few things on sale. I don't know what would have been down there, but either way. So, yeah, let's give these Christmas movies a look. You got Elf. At least they got some cool slipcovers on them. They're like snow globes. I got a bunch of them. Christmas Vacation. I'm just looking to see the nameplate on there. They're pretty neat. Christmas Story. Charlie Brown Christmas. Frosty. Got a random Sesame Street door in there. The Grinch. There's the Grinch cartoon. Got a little kid mumbling in the background. Polar Express. Got a few things. The bad guys are on sale. Wonder what Black Friday stuff they'll have on sale. I'm, I didn't buy a lot of movies this year because I skipped a lot of them. So hopefully I'll better catch back up. I bought a lot of catalog stuff. As you can see, theirs is the little TV section they got. Big Bang Theory. But look right here. They got Cobra Kai at season one and two. Five bucks. Is that what those are? In season three. That's not a bad deal, even though it's DVD. I'm not really seeing much else right here. But hey. And then I found this end cap over here that says $10 and under. It got a few things on sale. Got 1917. Got that Friday three pack for five bucks. I think we saw that in the Walmart. Man of Steel Blu ray. Tom and Jerry. So they had a few sale items there on the end cap. But we're going to get into Best Buy. Let's go. Nope. Check out my review and the unboxing of the Nope Steelbook. They still got those Star Treks on sale for like a buck extra off. Got that Mortal Kombat. Isn't that part of the Black Friday sale? thought that was only supposed to be $10. Still got Steelbooks down there. Hmm. Got the Christmas Story. Vacation. This is the back side of that same rack. I give you a a wide angle shot to show you they still have nothing. So nothing new on that. So we're gonna go to the back. Got that on sale. So they got some ten dollar sales for four Ks. See you got anything else back here. Got some of the Disney stuff and the Marvel stuff on sale. That's cool. So it's a few options. That's ten bucks. That's a good deal for that. Edge of Tomorrow. That's a good deal. Ten bucks. Justice League. I definitely recommend that, man. That's a good deal for that 4K. So then, before I go to the back, I noticed they had some of these Christmas ones on sale. 4Ks of the holiday classics for the Peanuts and Holiday Inn and Frosty and the Christmas specials. You get the three Christmas specials on there. 
that's not that big of a deal. But yeah, so a lot of Christmas titles showing up. Maybe I'll break this off and do a separate Christmas video. So on my way to the main rack, I went to Backway because it was a lot of employees over there. I saw this as Piranha came out last week. I skipped it. I heard it's a really good transfer. So that's a maybe if I don't see anything else. Is that new? I don't know what that is. Huh. This is a bunch of random titles stuck over here. Community. I think somebody said they had that 70 show for like 10 bucks for the Blu-ray seasons. That's I mean the whole series. If it's that's the case, that's a good deal. I don't see it here. Alright, well, looks like they're moving down here, so I might pick the one with the best slip cover and then slide down here. This is the main new releases. So they got that oops. Aqua Teen Hunger Force Plantasm. They got the Blu-ray. I don't see the 4K. So what is that? 22. They got green. I said green mile. <laughs> they got 8 mile on 4K. Got that Titans on sale. Look, the Sharknado Complete Movie Collection. Hmm. Was that? Wasn't there a steel book of that? I think most of this is already. This is old stuff. I don't really see anything on sale. Let's move over to the next rack. Casablanca for 25 That came out this week. That's a nice slip cover. Earth Girls are easy. We saw that in Walmart too. So that's a good Vestron title. And then Saturday Night Fever. I'm contemplating getting that. Because um, I don't think I've got that on Blu-ray. I might have it on DVD. I don't remember. Either way, maybe that's a good 4K upgrade. We'll give it a glance, see if we see anything on sale down here. Since they had some early, what they're calling early Black Friday deals, like Ambulance on 4K is $10. That's a good movie. In Glorious Bastards, I wasn't super impressed with the transfer of that in 4K, but... If you don't have it, that's a cheap way to get it. Green Knight. $10 for that 4K. I wish they had Doom. I kind of want that as a guilty pleasure, but I'm not paying $20 for it. That's 70 show. They don't have it marked down there, but check online. That price I don't think is right. I think it's on sale. It's kind of neat finally seeing the Dukes of Hazard back on the shelves. A lot of places pulled that because you know of the rebel flag and stuff on there. So over here you got Angel is Fallen, Black Phone, Clockwork Orange is on sale for 10 bucks. It's a good deal. Dr. Strangelove. I know there's a criterion of that. Is it criterion in 4K as well? Friday the 13th. That's a good deal. Full metal jacket. If that was 10 bucks, I might would get that. They got the Flintstones. That's the complete series. Got some $7.99 Blu-rays. Glass. That's a good deal. Yeah, Green Mile was one of the $10 ones. Got the Jetsons down there. John Wick. That's some good deals. They have Men for $7.99. That's, that's a pretty good movie. There's John Wick, Chapter 3 for $10. Kingsman. Lost City. I thought that was one of the ones, $10 for the 4K. I don't know. I never saw it. Did anybody see it? Let me know in the comments down below if it's any good. Wow. Nighthouse. I watched Resurrection with her, Rebecca Hall, in it. So 
Has anybody seen that? So they got the new screen for ten dollars. Total Recall for seven ninety nine. That's a good deal. They got the Blu-ray of X. I'm gonna unbox a 4K media pack of that on the channel. So um, I think that's about it. Let's get out of here. So hey, we did find a couple of little things, and so uh, before I actually show you what I got here in this little stack, there was a quick quick peek. Let's look online and see if anything else come out that we might have missed that we might want to order. So uh, let's do that and then come back here and I'll show you the haul. So let's see if we missed anything. There's the Earth Girls, the Easy Blu-ray and the Casablanca. There's that Aqua Teen Hunger Force. There was a 4K that we didn't see in stores. We only saw the Blu-ray. There's Saturday Night Fever. We saw that. I didn't see Escape from Alcatraz. That's a good movie. I wonder how the transfer is on that. Uh, Frasier Complete Series. The Power of the Dog. We didn't see that. Um, Criterion. I wonder if they got that in Barnes & Noble for part of the half price sale. Audrey Rose. There's that. The Witch 2. We saw that on DVD. I don't remember seeing the Extreme Rules DVD for WWE. We saw 8 Mile... I love my dad. What else we got? Dig, we saw that on DVD. Christmas Cruelty. I don't know what that is. There's that Trish Stratus Christmas movie we saw. And then the Young Rock Season 2. Did Season 1 get a physical release? I don't remember seeing that. She Will, we saw that in Walmart. I think that's a Shudder movie. There's some more Christmas stuff. The most dangerous game we did see. The Walmart version had a free bonus movie. The Devil's Workshop. We saw the DVD of that. So Young Rock does have a Blu-ray. I don't know anything about any of these. American Rust. I think I saw a little bit of that. L.A. Bounty. I remember seeing that old movie. That's got Sybil Danning in it. She was hot stuff back then. One of the Trancer movies. You got that Jack Frost. Looks like that was only on DVD. Among the Living. I've never heard of that. Solo. There's that Christmas Cruelty. Black Tree Forest 3. I don't know anything about most of these. Put some comments down below if you recognize any of these B titles. Are they re-releasing the Friday the 13th movies on DVD? There's the 3D version of Part 3. Hmm. Well, they must be because there's some more of the covers. I don't like those new release covers of the Friday the 13th movies. I like the originals. I'm not really seeing much else. Let me let me know if you see anything that I miss. Got some Paramount catalog stuff they're re-releasing other than Friday the 13th. But other than that, folks, I think I'm going to just get home and show you what I picked up. So now here's the fun part. I'll show you the haul. I did pick up a couple DVDs this week. I don't usually pick up a lot of DVDs on the weekly hunt. I do it, you know, Big Lots or uh, Dollar Tree. But I got the season sets of Cobra Kai season one and two and season three these were at target for five bucks each so check your targets that's a good deal even i figure even if i didn't want to keep these for myself that's too good of a deal to pass up and i'd give them as a gift and speaking of gift this is probably not something i'm going to keep but i found this in the five dollar bin oops sorry i found this at the five dollar bin at walmart watch around the clock family of products prime time tv and color time capsule and so i'll read you it's got <clears throat> the long, Lone Ranger, Long John Silver. I almost said Long Dong Silver. <laughs> uh, I'm out of practice. Long John Silver, The Cisco Kid, Judge, Roy Bean, Rango, Dusty's Trail, The Lucy Show, Bonanza, and Mannix. And it's got three movies. The last time I saw Paris, The Snows of Kilimanjaro, and The Proud Rebel. So this is a Mill Creek release, so I don't know if they remastered them, but hey, I know for a fact I, I can give that as a gift to somebody. So um, for five bucks, that's a lot of entertainment there. Um, 
so I went ahead and picked up mainly catalog stuff or old stuff. There wasn't anything new release that I bought for myself. So the first release that I picked up is um, the 4K, the new Paramount 4K of Saturday Night Fever. And this has got some mixed reviews and I, I didn't listen to them and I probably should have. So check out the short that I made. Um, that'll tell you more about this one. But uh, yeah, you might want to hold off on this one until you uh, hear what people are saying about it. But picked this up at Best Buy and I've actually watched it. And like I said, I got mixed feelings about it. So I'll let you know about that. Watch the little short that I put out there. Now this is a movie that I've been wanting on Blu-ray for a while. Earth Girls are easy. This is one of those um, guilty pleasure movies. Gina Davis, Jim Carrey, Damon Wayans, and Jeff Goldblum and introducing... Julie Brown, downtown Julie Brown. <clears throat> is she downtown Julie Brown? I don't remember. Is that what they called her? I don't know. Put some comments down below. I know she was on MTV, right? But either way, that's one of those lost hit type of movies there. It's a real quirky comedy. This is a movie I didn't pick up last week, but I went ahead and grabbed it because I heard some good things about the transfer. Uh, Piranha. I like that cover there. I always said that that was like a rip off of Jaws, but the top part of that cover looks cool. I love that. But then when you add that stupid ass looking piranha, it looks cheesy. Um, this is one of the ones they do actually have reversible cover art. And I'm thinking I like this cover art better than their, the one on the case. But that way you get bo you both. You got the regular and you got the slip. Uh, the slip. And it's got the, it says it's, you know, a new 4K restoration of this. Um, but I don't see any other special features that are new. So I'm assuming everything's ported over from previous releases. But um, that's that's another guilty pleasure. And then everybody's probably already know they had a lot of sales this week at Amazon and Best Buy. Of, uh, and they had a lot of movies that were $9.99. Unfortunately, I already had most of them. But here's one that I didn't. Edge of Tomorrow. I know there was a steel book in Best Buy that was like 30 some bucks that I definitely wasn't going to pick up. But for $10, I really like this movie. I think it's underrated. Tom Cruise, Emily Blunt. So, um, so yeah, for $10, upgrading to 4K, getting a Blu-ray, DV, uh, digital code in there as well, other than 4K. So that's cool. And I wanted to let you know about something. I placed an order at uh, Diabolique DVD, and um, it's for some stuff that I, I missed out on. And when it first came out and they had them in stock. And so I've been watching it for a while. And when I got the email saying that it was that it was back on there, it was going to be <clears throat> I got a box here. Sorry. And I'm still a little stopped up, but it was going to be for the uh, 4K of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2 with the slipcover from Vinegar Syndrome. And it was going to be for the movie uh, Ty West movie X The they had a cool uh, media book that I was going to get of the 4k since we didn't get a 4k release of that on physical media here in the states so fortunately I did get the uh the x um uh, digi book media book whatever that thing's called I'll unbox this on the channel this is really cool looking <clears throat> and those uh if you don't know 4k discs are not region coded so you can get foreign releases like that I'm pretty sure that's the German release then instead of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2 they sent me the 4K of the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre. But I will give them some good press and say they worked really nice to help me fix this order. Not only did they let me keep this one at a, at a decent price, but they're shipping me the uh, the one that they uh, owe me. So uh, we worked a deal out together that was uh, good for both of us. And so it was saved them from having to give me a label and ship this back. And I've heard that the transfer of this is pretty decent. I know it's old and it's... um. Uh, got a lot of grain anyway, so it can't look but so good. But hey, I'll, I'll try it out um, for the price that they're giving it uh, to me for. So hey, got some stuff that I'll unbox on the channel. Got some new um, new releases. What else could you ask for? What did you get this week? Put some comments down below. Let me know. I like sharing that stuff with you. Um, we're gonna do a watch along. You uh, that I'm gonna I'm gonna post this on the before um, the at the beginning of the weekend, and uh, we're gonna do a watch along Sunday night, and I'll be putting some. Uh, uh, post about that so come along and watch i think we're gonna watch night of the living dead and i think i'm gonna watch the first terrifier next weekend so what do you guys think about that um going into the thanksgiving week um i'll have off and so we can stay up late and uh bust uh bust on art the clown there um but either way 
Like, comment, subscribe, share, do all the normal YouTube stuff. I'm glad to be back. Got a lot of content that I've got planned to come in reviews, um, movie hunts, a toy hunt, number 100. So, uh, and I'm getting ready to lose my voice because I've talked too much in this video. So I'm just going to end it and say, um, this is Jeff Man 316, your pop culture reporter, signing out saying, you guys be safe out there.